I'm going to begin with the 369th because that is the first regiment to see combat. But please keep in mind a couple of things. A substantial number of white Americans did not want African Americans serving in combat because if they served in combat and shed their blood for the country, then they would merit equal rights. And so please keep in mind that what these men were fighting for, and it was understood, was to see combat, fight, and then demonstrate their ability to be equal citizens in America. And substantial numbers of Southerners, in particular, say a senator like Vardaman of Mississippi, rabid racist, knew that and therefore did not want them to do just that. So in the end, it was agreed, despite pressure from the NAACP, that there would only be one black division, the 92nd. But it would never train as a unit in the States it would be shipped over late in the war, possibly too late to see service, and that way they might be able to keep African Americans out of the fray. So what is this 93rd Provisional Division, parenthetically, colored, in which the 8th Illinois, the 15th New York, both National Guard units, the 371st, which is a South Carolina drafty regiment, and the 372nd, which is a composite of a number of national, black National Guard units from south to north, from Tennessee northward. How does it come into existence? In the first place, the 93rd Provisional Division never really existed except on paper. But it was the intent of the United States American Expeditionary Force never to use these men in combat. They were destined to be labor troops, engineers or pioneers. In other words, they weren't going to fight. So how is it that they come to fight? 